Hi, my name is Noel Davis of World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on bin one. Now, we had left the lid off last time. We put like a plastic bag over it or a plastic uh, bubble wrap over the top of the section that we're going to have the worms migrate into. And we're going to do sort of a horizontal migration to get them to move into another section of the bin. So I left the top off. It should be dried out enough by now so we can now add that lid back on and continue with this migration to get them into this other area where the fresh bedding is so we can harvest that other side of the bin. So let's go and take a look. And just so you, if you're curious here, it has been 15 days since we started this. I've been a little bit delayed uh, with uh, some extra things as far as the verma or vern minting system that I opened in with my last update. And uh, the fruit flies in the basement have been a little bit uh, hectic. So I had to get some traps and everything to, to sort that out before I really felt comfortable uh, closing this up while I was just gonna have more fruit flies. So let's go and take a look and see how it's doing. All right, so here's the system right here. This top area, very dry and crumbly, which is what I expect. Let's just move this off. This is still a little bit dry over here. It's been a little longer than I really wanted it to go. So I bet this is all dried out. Well, maybe not towards the bottom here. And there is actually a worm down here. Or, and there's moisture. So it looks like this is okay down here. Let's just move this off to this side now. It's definitely drier than I really want it. Oh, lots of worms over here it looks like. All right, hold on here. Looks like this is where the food was. And look at this. Look at all those worms in there. They're really going to town over in this section over here. So they are starting to migrate over. It's a little bit drier than we would like. Now, as far as the fruit fly issue, I do have some controls in the area that I'm gonna start using here to try to get them under control. We're just gonna dig over here real quick though, just to see how it looks over here. I'm already seeing a couple worms. Here's one right here on the top. Doesn't look very healthy though. Let's just start digging down here and see how this looks. So we've got a worm there. A couple little smaller worms over here. So it looks like they are starting to multiply a little bit on this side, which isn't surprising, especially with this type of dry material. They start thinking, oh, well, you know, something's not right. I got to got to do something. So let's just dig down here a little bit and see how it's going. Again, more worms still over here. So we're going to have to continue to add food to this one side and see if we can lure over all the worms. So there's, there's a big one right there. Let's just try digging over here real quick. As, I, as somebody else had mentioned, there is a lot of bedding in this still. When I sort through this, I'm going to get out most of this bedding material and it'll go back into a bin. I'm not really worried about that quite as much. I just want to start getting them over to one side so I can sort of do a partial harvest and we can sort it out. So, yes, there is bedding material. And yes, that'll eventually have to come out, but this is going to be easy to... These big strips of paper are easy to take out when I do my sorting. So, uh, let's move this down over here. Let's just put that over there. That's a piece of a banana peel. All right, let's come over here now to this corner. And we've got nice, big, healthy worms still over here. There's still plenty of moisture in here, really. It's not too dry, even though I did have the lid off and this just opened to the air. So the, the, the top dried out, as you can see from it being crumbly, but this section down here, this is all actually really nicely, nice consistency and moisture. I mean, lots of little worms in here, so there's Definitely laying some cocoons. They're probably, as I said, thinking that the system isn't doing well. It's running out of food. It got to lay cocoons. And some of those cocoons are still hatching. So I'm not seeing any cocoons, which is surprising. Maybe you'll see them on camera when you look. But I am seeing worms in every handful here. Again, some nice, nice big healthy ones right here. All right, one more dig right over here. Let's just go to this corner over here, all the way to the corner. Let's just see what's over here. Less material as far as paper, the bedding material. Some worms in there. Again, more little tiny worms over here. 
So they're, they're doing really well. So overall, this seems to be working well. I was hoping to find less worms in this area, really, but there's still lots of food over here, so I'm not surprised that they're still over here. The idea, though, is to just slowly get them to all migrate this way, and hopefully at the same time they'll go through some of this bedding material. So, now, the thing is, uh, we need to... Actually, here's a, it's a leftover piece of something. I'll just bury that in there. Now the next thing to do is to come over here. This is definitely dry. We saw that we've got this big pile of worms in here in with this food. And I'm not seeing uh, any fruit flies on it, which is good. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add another piece of food. So we're gonna kind of move this over. We're gonna bury this all a little bit more. We're gonna just move this over a little bit more. Now I'm not seeing any worms in this area. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one of their favorite foods that I have here. And it's frozen. I'm gonna have a big chunk of pumpkin. Now there are seeds in this. I normally would not put seeds in, but you know I'll just let them grow in here and then I'll make sure to plow them under. So now what I need to do though, is I need to make sure that this is buried really well. So I'm gonna actually grab more bedding material and add it to the top here. And we're gonna actually spray this down with a little bit of water just on this side over here where we're, where we're doing this. So what we're gonna do now if I can find my watering can. I thought I had it right next to me a second ago. All right, so let's add some water here. So we're just gonna add it to this side though. We're not gonna add any to the other side. We're just gonna add it to this side, get this a little bit moist, wet it down. And that way it's, the worms are hopefully gonna migrate over to here for removal. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that piece of cloth right back over the top. All right, and we're gonna put this piece of bubble wrap over the top. Now, I left the lid off before because it was pretty dry in here, but what I'm gonna do is because of the fruit fly issue I'm having in the in the basement here, I'm gonna put on one of these little things. This is actually, uh, this piece down here goes in your ground and this is sticky. I don't know if you can see it's reflective. I'll put an Amazon link to these down below, but this is a sticky trap. So I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna press it down. And that way if any fruit flies get in here, hopefully they're just gonna go onto this and they're gonna get trapped. And that way they won't get in through the bin here and keep moving around. Let me just move some of this stuff away from me here so it doesn't stick to it. There we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid back on. We're gonna put this back and we'll come back to it hopefully sooner than later. And I already have the lid labeled here. So as you can see here, well, maybe not in that light. There we go. I think now you can see it. It says 12.9 right here for today's update. And this is our bin one that we're trying to do the horizontal migration on so we can kind of harvest this massive area over here. So thank you for watching. And if you have questions, please let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thank you.